for this demo, I want to give a feel for how you can enter information into the droid. Uh, I'm going to talk about swipe. I'm going to talk about uh, the voice recognition. And I also want to show gesture search, which I just recently reviewed. Um, I'm in Tweetcaster because it was the one app I could find that would give me a nice dark background. Uh, videotaping with the light background just wasn't working at all. So hopefully this will be viewable for you. So what I want to show you here is we're going to go ahead and tap on this like we're about to send a tweet. And I can actually, I don't have to type in my tweet. Uh, what I can do is I can have Google figure that out from what I say. So I'm going to click on the mic down here. Check out the latest reviews on thegadgeteer.com. Now you see that it's working. It doesn't really take that long. And we get check out the latest reviews on thegadgetyour.com. Now actually, every time I've tested this, it grabbed Gadgeteer perfectly. And of course, when I'm filming, it took it as Gadget Your. But it doesn't matter. I want to edit it anyhow and show you some of the interesting features on the edit. Um, some of the hard parts with editing is, is being able to tap right where you want it to be. Well, you don't need to do that with the Droid X. If you double tap and hold, you get this little window, and I can actually move to where I want. So I'm going to put just before the G and lift, and I can do a backspace. I did two backspaces. And I can put in my hyphen, so the gadget. And now i got to fix this. So again, I'm going to double tap. Whoops double tap and hold and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna backspace that out gadgeteer so check out the latest reviews on the gadgeteer.com the other thing I want to show you while I'm here is this whole swipe I've kinda of gotten used to it I've played with it a little bit the nicest thing about swipe is it's a keyboard if all you want to do is use it as a keyboard it's a very nice functional keyboard but if you want to kind of take it to the next level, you can swipe. And what I mean by swipe is you can say things like, um, if I want to say good, I just do G-O-O-D. Now, since there's a double, it takes its best guess there. And this little button down here pops up a little menu where I can pick things that, that are close. So good. And I'm going to say, I'm going to do review. So I'll, do, I'll just swipe all the way reviews and I can even put in my name here Brian and obviously I've been putting my name in more than anything else it's a matter of getting used to remembering how to put all that information in but you can do all of that I'm gonna hold down the delete button and what you'll see is it'll start deleting by whole words at a time too which is nice because I don't really want to send any of this now I'm gonna go back to home because the other thing I want to show you real quick was gesture search. I wanted you to see it live. Uh, it remembers the last thing you searched for, and the last thing I searched for was the thing I'm going to search for in this demo. Um, but we're going to pretend like that's not up there. And all I got to do is start writing the letters that I need. So if I go P, it puts in a P. I'm going to do F. Now I've set this up to only search my music and my bookmarks because I didn't want to bring up people's contacts. But you see a bunch of different things there with PRs, P, PFs and PRs because I thought that F could be an R. So under pressure, uh, the proclivities, all kinds of things. Now what I want to do here is I want to go to the website to show you how the website works. Uh, this is a food blog that I have that I haven't spent a lot of time updating, just local reviews and stuff like that. But um, it's a good example because it's your basic site. I've done nothing to optimize it for mobile handheld devices. So when it comes up, it shows the whole page. Uh, you're not going to be able to read that. But the nice thing is if you double tap, it zooms in, reformats. I can now read what I need to do. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to go to the Salted Caramels Bacon Bourbon Caramel Corn. Because who doesn't like bacon on their caramel corn, right? So up comes, again, same deal. I'm seeing both columns on both sides. But if I double tap, I zoom in. I can read the, the article. Uh, if I want to see a bigger version, I can do just like it's that pinch to zoom, the spread, the pinch, everything's going on here. So I can zoom in really close so I can really see a nice up close and personal. The other thing I can do is I can turn it sideways 
and that'll give me a little more room to work with. So again, I'm a double tap zooms me back out. I double tap to see the article, it zooms me in. And this is very, very doable. I like this a lot. I've actually found myself having no issues. I, I, and, um, when I was used TweetCast from the past, I had favorite tweets to go check websites out while I'm not home. Now I just browse on the website. It's, it's very nice. It works very, very nicely. Now, since we are talking about on the Gadgeteer, I'm going to go to that bookmark to show you an example of a website. Let's see, that is optimized. So I'm going to go to the Gadgeteer. Now Julie's actually added stuff to the Gadgeteer website so that it shows nicely on a uh, handheld device. So it's already formatted. It doesn't look anything like the Gadgeteer website. It's actually optimized for this kind of viewing. And if I go look at gesture search, it'll pop up that review. I still get my um, information here. If I scroll down through here, I got my screen captures, and that's it. So that's browsing on the um, Droid X. Um, I really like the ability to go to uh, landscape mode. I like the ability it has for accessing non-optimized sites.